obviously there's different generations here, you know, so, and the big, there's a big problem in the industry for pros and superintendents to find assistants because they don't, their assistants, in the pro side, the assistants don't want to work weekends. And on our side, they just don't want to work the hours. And I mean, it's not because they're lazy. It doesn't have anything to do with their ability to work. It's just that they, they don't want to work the same hours. It's just a, it's a psychological change, you know? It's a, so we were coming down through there and I said, you know, a good friend of mine, Marsh Benson, who used to be the superintendent and then ultimately the director of Augusta National, he and I've talked about, in order for a golf course superintendent to have a life, which is really hard because we were kidding, you know, my wife said to me one time, she said, how come you can't figure out how to get home at 5.30? And I said, oh man, you're talking to the wrong person. You got to go talk to my grass. You got to get my grass to say, okay, I'm good. You can go home. Because I said, that's not a nine to five job. You know, I'm at the mercy of the plant. So, you know, I gotta, I gotta be there for the plant. So, but anyways, to get back to the original subject so that everybody can have a life, superintendent almost has to have a career assistant. Or, you know, call it what you may, maybe they make Tim director and then the new guy is a superintendent. And they have two guys that are making a lot of money, but at the end of the day, you know, they both are way happier. And they both, they can, you know, one week, Tim gets home at four and, and the other guy stays until six and then the following week it's just flopped. Yeah. You know, and then one guy says, hey, I want three days off in July. And that's, he says, that's cool, I'm gonna take three days off in June. You know, and so I think you know, as we go forward, we're gonna discuss this a little later on, but I actually think that's, that's the way the industry needs to go.